Ahead of the International Widows Day, a human development initiative has rendered support to widows and the vulnerable people in the society. Executive Director of HDI, Olufun Shaw Owasonoye, who led her team at the Baptist Church in Yaba, area of Lagos State, says the gesture is meant to alleviate the hardship the widows go through. Paul George tells us more on this report. In every society, there are women of all ages whose husbands have died, leaving them vulnerable. The underprivileged widows and vulnerable children constitute a significant component. <laughs> It is no surprise that these vulnerable ones have converged on this church. The economic situation of the country leaves much to be desired and have greatly impacted on their daily lives. Olufunsho Owasoye leads the Human Development Initiative. She speaks of her drive and why it has become necessary to show support. As of that 25 years ago, um, there were this set of people, vulnerable group, that um, I would say neglected. That um, most people, it's like you, just go and sit down there. So early then, it was um, my husband and I, we used to go to churches and some of these, um, where they have widows group, to talk to them about will or even what they can do before their husband dies. We're pardoned through vocational skills, bead making, catering, all sorts of empowerment to make themselves relax. Then we give education scholarship to their children from nursery to federal university. As of today, we have 75 in university, almost 500 in, um, from nursery to primary school. And now to use this medium to say a big thank you to our donors and partners. As admonitions are reeled out, the widows here are encouraged to be prudent and advised to put God first as the future is bright. I'm going to begin by telling you that if I am not prudent, I think uh, I would have been lost. I would have been lost. And all my children would have been lost also. We all are widows. We are all alone only on our own, that we are the favorites in the God's heart. God loves the widows. And once you keep yourself for God, God will always be with you. One of the donors expresses delight in supporting the initiative, while the beneficiaries are appreciative of the gesture. We always partner with them. Not only them, other, you know, different groups of, you know, Widows associations in various areas. We've made provision for 250 people. All of a sudden, uh, today happens to be uh, a lot of people that came. The expected crowd, they brought their friends and all whatnot. So they are ranging about 300 and above 300. I'm a widow of eight children. So they say they will assist me, they will help. I never believe it. The good work they started, and the Lord who made them to start this work shall fulfill long life, prosperity, and health. They call us to come and uh, attend this uh, meeting today for this uh, <laughs> Jesus' wife meeting. We pray for them, and God give them power to make sure that they remember us every year by year, and God will give them the power and knowledge to be doing this for us. One of the high points of the event was the presentation of gift items to the beneficiaries. Paul George. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.